The World of Poker.com, in association with Virgin Games, are proud to present the Nutstock TV. Well, we've got issues at uh, Luton when we walk into the place because uh, we were laughing me head off earlier on. This guy had tape on his uh, on his trousers because uh, they wouldn't let you in with the, with the ripped jeans. No. Uh, big issue with quite a few players, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not so much me. Um, I know there's rules and you got to obey them. You know, I don't mind all that, but I had to put some blue tape look, over that hole. <laughs> And then I was only 50-50 on coming in, but uh, it's fell off now, and it's really late at night, so I hope they've chucked me out so I can get on the motorway and go home. But, you know, there was a load of players all turned up here with trainers on and you know a few marks in their jeans, and they've got a rule here, and, and that's it. There was a few um, disgruntled players outside, but all over with now. Yeah, well, rules are rules, and uh, you're in the competition. How's it, how's it going today? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I think I'm about double average. Uh, there's one level to go, so yeah, I'm in good nick. You know, keep me hands uh, under me legs and away from me chips, and I should be fine for next level. And you've already got, uh, already had a, had a cash this week. I nicked ten grand. Yeah, I won the Omaha. Um, I, I really like the Omaha, to be honest. I'm, I've only played two. I played two events, and uh, I come third in Dublin, and I won this one. He won the Omaha because he was. Because he was drunk. That's why he won. Apparently he had a drinking competition with Big TR, is that right? No, I can hold my liquor a bit more than them guys, that's all. <laughs> I was drunk about five minutes after it ended. I drank about two bottles of Stolly, but I can go for free normally. No, it was good fun. I mean, we had a load of banter. I wound up early on with uh, Big Trev. You know, he, he got chips early and we was all trying to get pints down him to get him a bit pissed as he'd give a few away but it backfired I kept drinking vodka and then all of a sudden we got late on I'm on his table again and I wound up heads up with him and uh, I completely played the bollocks off him so and went on and won a title oh, fantastic <laughs> Na- nice result for you thanks mate uh, good luck in the competition for the rest of the week yeah, and uh, fingers crossed we're winning, winning Saturday for day two thank just, you j- just back to the Omaha yeah. uh, great field uh, the amount of runners you don't, yeah, you, don't normally, you don't normally get that for Omaha. no I think it was about 100 mm. um, yeah so that's why the, the money was nice and and, um, yeah, they're, you know, they're all good players. They just come over my arm. They're all fantastic home players, so it's, it's nice to win it, you know. But I've got the art I've got the art of that game, and there's a secret to it, and I ain't telling anyone. All right, not even me. No, not you. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Ian, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Ian Fraser.